Let's talk about barbiturates now. All barbiturates are derivatives of barbituric acid and they are non-selective CNS depressants. They act at many sites but atic uh, ascending reticular formation is the main site of their action. To classify barbiturates, we classify them into three main groups, ultra short acting barbiturates, short acting and long acting. Ultra short acting barbiturates include thiopental, methohexitone, short acting include secobarbitol and pentobarbitone, seco and pento, remember these two words. And long acting is phenobarbitol, also known as phenobarbitone. Now the mechanism of action of uh, barbiturates is mainly, as we've discussed previously, it binds to alpha and beta subunits of GABA A receptor. By that it increases the duration of the chloride channel opening, thus hyperpolarizing the neuronal membrane and thus CNS depression occurs. Secondly, it also blocks glutamate, which is an excitatory neurotransmitter, thus also contributing to CNS depression. And at high concentration, barbiturates also block sodium channels. That is, then they don't let the channels to depolarize. That is, they have membrane stabilizing effects, like anesthetics. At high doses, they also have GABA mimetic effects, that is, they don't need GABA anymore to stimulate the GABA A receptors, thus, they have a high toxicity leading to respiratory paralysis, coma, and death. Let's see some pharmacological actions. The main action is sedation and hypnosis. Let's see how we can use this pharmacological action. One, we can use it in insomnia. It decreases sleep latency, decreases REM sleep and decreases stages 3 and 4 of non-REM sleep. They cause marked alteration of sleep architecture. Phenobarbitone can also be used in neonatal jaundice of non-hemolytic type where it induces glucuronoid transferase enzyme and increases the metabolism of bilirubin. It also has anticonvulsant effects and phenobarbitone is mainly used in status epilepticus, generalized tonic-clonic seizures, and epilepsy. It also has general anesthetic effects by membrane stabilizing effect. Now, barbiturates, despite of their action of sedation and hypnosis, they are still not recommended for use uh, in insomnia because they have a low therapeutic index, that is their plasma concentration need to be constantly monitored. They cause rebound insomnia when the drug is discontinued. They also cause respiratory depression if toxic doses are reached in the blood. They can cause hangover effects and uh, physical dependence and psychological dependence is seen. Physical dependence show as abstinence syndrome and psychological is by craving. They also have enzyme inducing properties. Now one thing that I forgot to mention in the benzodiazepine video was that uh, the, both the BZ1 and BZ2 receptors, they are antagonized by flumazenil. So in case of benzodiazepine toxicity, flumazenil can be used, but flumazenil cannot work in uh, barbiturate toxicity. The adverse effects of barbiturates include common CNS depressive effects. Uh, which is an extension of the pharma pharmacological effects such as drowsiness, confusion, headache, ataxia, hypotension, and respiratory depression. Hypersensitivity reactions such as skin rashes, itching are common. Tolerance can develop on uh, repeated use and uh, prolonged use can cause physical and psychological dependence. Now one adverse effect that I want you to remember is acute intermittent porphyria. Now why does it occur? Because we know in porphyrin synthesis, the chief enzyme is the ALA synthase, ALA synthase. So it induces that enzyme as well. So increases the porphyrins in the body and thus porphyria. 
Now, in acute barbiturate poisoning, the signs and symptoms are the same as uh, those of exaggerated CNS depression, depression, such as drowsiness, restlessness, hallucinations, hypertension, respiratory depression, convulsions, coma, and death. Now, in the treatment, uh, all the emergency treatments along with gas gastric lavage uh, can be used, but in this case, as I previously mentioned, we cannot use flumazenil as the antagonist. So, what we can do is make the alkaline, uh, the urine alkaline, and so that barbiturates can be excreted in the urine. One important drug interaction to remember is that it is an inducer of people 450, so co -administer, administered drugs concentration always increase in the presence of barbiturates. <laughs>